Hello YouTube, this is Demar1079 bringing you another toy review, and I know it's a little different from the last one that we did was the first member of the Aerial Bots Air Raid, but I decided, mm, since there's one less Aerial Bot in that one than the other ones of the combiners, I decided to bring out another old one and today we'll be taking a look at transformers prime beast hunters ultra magnus optimus prime second in command from the good old tv show transformers prime and let's get a good little look at him as you can see he is if you know the show it's not a spoiler but if you don't know the show spoiler this is pretty much season three in Ultra Magnus here takes the form of Optimus Prime since, well, he, in the end of season two, they pretty much blew the base, the Autobot base up, damaging Optimus Prime, Smokescreen needs to use the Forge of Solus Prime to fix him, and he looks completely different, and just for a little comparison of how similar the trucks modes are, here he is with his old... Optimus Prime in his old truck mode. Sadly, I do not have the second version of him. So, this is all we get. See, pretty much they're just the same thing, except, of course, if you can't tell, these are Ultra Magnus' shoulder pads, and Ultra Magnus does not have the same smokestacks. But everything else is the same on them, pretty much get him out of the way and before we transform him we'll look at some accessories for ultra magnus and they all conveniently stored together on his jetpack i don't know why ultra magnus got a jetpack for his transformation but i guess this is for i guess the beast hunters i guess he gets a pair of little flick missiles which can be stored in robot mode and on the jetpack and i'll show you where they launch from later. Actually, let me just take these off so they can get out of the way of the wings for this. Also, since Ultra Magnus is known for hammers for some reason, he has the Forge of Solus Prime. Nice little bit that we have one of the relics from the show, especially one of the mo a good powerful one. Sadly, this is the only one that looks a little bit more accurate. It could have been bigger, I think. And the only other one of these that we get is like the Star Saber from Optimus Prime when he's transformed into a bigger version of himself. And the jetpack, which is pretty much, to me, looks like his Optimus Prime's jetpack from the show. And you got the tires and everything, and that's how it looks. And pretty much a little clip for this and conveniently enough you can store the missiles all on here different way for robot in truck mode to store i guess the hammer for robot you can store it like that for truck mode you have to get put that little notch right that little tab right there into here so you can store it for truck mode. And actually I'll show you how you can store it on truck mode. Yes. Plug them in. Fold this back down. As you can pretty much tell, they go in here. Just wanna fold out the shoulder pads. Get it all lined up. Get them and just line them up like so and there you go he has a bit of a trailer bit and yes you can store it on optimus prime too oh, he hides that now let's move that off the side and get some size comparisons you already saw how he looks with optimus prime here he is with g2 combiner wars brawl And here he is, of course, with Studio Series Leader Clash Jetfire. Mm. 
And now we can pretty much get him into robot mode. Pretty much the first thing you want to do. You want to just untab these little side pieces. Just because I started lifting that up without thinking. Well, let's hit this one a bit simple. Yep. Fold those down and out of the way. This one wants to give me trouble for some reason. Fold those out of the way. You can pretty much just put these off to the side. And pretty much the transformation is exactly somewhat the same as Optimus Primer. I'll put a it should pop up in the type, top right hand corner for the video. Just little few things different. Like for instance, the shoulder pads here, we want to fold out of the way. And we'll just, since we're back here, we'll just transform the legs. Pretty much take the plates here for the legs, fold them out. Fold them down, untake the legs and flip them around. like so want to then pretty much let me get this out of the way to show you get this all of this little section on both sides um tab to loosen it up also untab the grill now this side i can show you i'll get that other side just Flip this around, keep those out of the way. The reason again, a site's wanting to keep it stubborn for me. Now you want to flip this, his head all the way around. Gotta get up because he's getting a little big. You flip out his hands, untab him and untap these bits. Want to fold these around. I'll flip these like so they are. Want to flip these around so they're facing forward. There's also a little piece right here that you want to flip out for the chest piece. Let's flip this around. Flip around like so, and you just want to collapse it all inward. There's a little bit, it pretty much fits right in like. So we almost have them. Pretty much now you just want to rotate these pieces around and shove them down for it. You almost want to give it up there for clearance, like so. Don't want that to happen. And there you have Ultra Magnus in robot mode. And he is a, a good looking Ultra Magnus. I cannot remember if this is my first Ultra Magnus or the um, Combiner Wars one is, if it's not Combiner Wars, it's Titan Rise. I'm not a hundred percent. Sure, and I forgot something to show off also, so I'll do a quick cut here and I'll be right back. And I'm back. We'll just move him out of the way for a second. And pretty much, I forgot to show off his box art and everything. You can see Transformers Prime, Beast Hunter, there's Ultra Magnus in his truck mode. Of course, you can see Ultra Magnus, Hasbro is in the battle hammer you can see a little brief little bio right there you can see his tech specs you can see everything what he is sorry about the glare all that stuff there nice little artwork of him it heads a little off so is the hammer how it looks. And that's about it for that. I won't show you the bottom because it still has the tag where, I, well, I got him. I just will say this. That was one of the few last things that my grandma ever bought me alongside of another guy that if you want, I can review him. 
but let's get a look there on him a nice head sculpt chest of course his shoulder pads and everything a nice color and everything just the subtle differences that make him truly not look like Optimus Prime, but also pretty much like most, he's undistinguishable from Optimus Prime. And let me just transform him here for the comparison. So I'll be right back. And here he is next to his leader, Optimus Prime before the little accident, as you can see pretty much Subtle differences, different little front core arm molds right here. These are a little bit more extended out where this is just solid being flat. Legs are the same, just different colors. But for some reason, this almost feels softer than this one. This feels like a harder plastic. This almost feels softer plastic. His feet, his chest, his lights are painted. His are not. Of course, shoulders are different. Heads are different, chests are very different, but all in all the same. And I will bring, I'll just leave Optimus in the background because it can, everything can work on him surprisingly, like Ultra Magnus here. So pretty much, let's just bring back his backpack again for his accessories. Of course, the hammer, he can hold his mighty war hammer, which if you like to play pretend, you can, of course, give this to Optimus, where the forge will actually work in his hands and create weapons. And like I said, these can store right here in these little tabs right here, the missiles, or these are also friction missiles little solder pads to not only get this stuff out of the way to get this on him in truck mode and also make it a launcher too you can see it's a little friction one good little bit in my opinion nice little gimmick even though Walter Magnus never did that in the show sorry I knocked around the camera and I'll just show you I'll just keep them all Stored up. Oops. And everything. And pretty much now we get to the backpack and everything. Pretty much first off, this can tab in right here. These little tabs right here on the side tab right down here to his grill. You want to push down while that's going up and everything. And to make this fit flush, you can see these little notches right here. You have to angle his truck pieces down to where they fit nice and snugly, like so. And then there you go. You can angle them however you want. Give him his hammer. And there you go, Ultra Magnus is ready to go off into combat in everything. As soon as he stands up, right, I'll just hold him like so. There you go. And of course, since this is practically the same mold as him, I'll just show you. If you like this form of Optimus better, and you like, but you like he, that he can fly, Kind of like, I guess, in the movie, in the live action movies where he actually gets a jetpack, like Dark of the Moon and Fall, or The Return of the Fallen. You can put this like so onto his back. And there you go. Granted, it's gonna clash the red and the blue. If it was a darker blue, then maybe. But if you got two of them, you could probably paint them. And there you go. You can give Optimus Prime his jetpack. Give him his sword, like how I did, where it just shing, he could fly around. No, or something. Just a little thing that I tested a long time ago, and I'm pretty sure any other people that got to hold this figure and Ultra Magnus. Let me get this off him. Did it. 
Come on. There we go. Did as well. And let's just get Ultra Magnus here souped up in back in souped up and ready for battle and everything. And the missiles can store there and or the in the hammer can store here like I showed you earlier. Let's just get him standing up straight for some size comparisons. Of course there he was with Optimus Prime. Here he is with Combiner War Swindle. Now he's not one to stand up, stand up Swindle. Face a guy that's gonna smack you around with that hammer if you try him, of course, swindle him out of something. Here he is with an alternate version of his leader. This one was too awesome. He could he fainted. Stand up, Magnus. He may be from a different universe, but he's still your commanding officer. Stand up. Okay, you don't like the wood here for some reason. And of course, here he is next to uh, Leader Class Studio Series, The Fallen. With the only other, I guess, technically Prime, since he is one of the, th well, if you're going by their logic, 13 Primes. I wonder. Since this is the Forge of Solus Prime, I wonder if The Fallen can hold it. Oh, he can. So I technically have another prime that can hold it, even if he is a traitor to his brethren. But there you have that. That was the, my little look on Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Ultra Magnus. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure he is my first ever Ultra Magnus. And from a good show standpoint, kind of funny enough, I will just give a little background. How I found this show, I did not know this existed at the time because I did not I know I had it. Um, the Hub, which was a TV channel that I guess Hulu had, or not Hulu, um, whoever owns the Transformer rights back a long time ago, which is no longer on anymore, that channel. But I originally found Transformers Prime through YouTube. I never knew it existed until then, and then I saw, I guess, little commercial, the commercials and everything on YouTube and everything, and I'm like, oh, cool. I started actually officially watching the show on TV, I think, the towards the end of season two, and I watched the rest of it through season three on actual TV, which this was pretty good in itself. But that's it. I'm done rambling. This video is going on longer than it needs to. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell to notify you any time that I post a video or go live. And please leave your comments down below and tell me, out of all the Ultra Magnuses out there, which one is your favorite? I quite like this one the most because I have seen this. Of course, I like the G1 one from the TV show, but... Mm. This one I was my first, well, second one I was ever introduced to and first one I ever got my hands on. So I really like this Ultra Magnus in everything, especially the fight scene between Ultra Magnus, Wheeljack, and Predaking. If you haven't seen it, go look at it. It's an awesome clip. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, which one is your favorite Ultra Magnus? And if you, what was your first Ultra Magnus you got your hands on? Like I said, I think this is mine. Let me know which one, which is the first one you got a hold of and which one is actually your favorite out of all of them. Let me know. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.